Welcome to another Artemis Suite tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn more about the tolerance scheme, which allows you to specify certain reference or limit curves. You can easily include these curves in your diagrams in order to test your measurement results for tolerance compliance or violation, for example. You can create curves for tolerance schemes manually or generate them from measurement results. In our first example, we want to create two reference curves for a tolerance scheme manually. To do so, open the Tolerance Scheme Editor. Click on New and Tolerance Scheme. A new document is opened in which you can create a tolerance scheme. With a click, you can create a new curve and edit it by entering any number of values. To do so, select the desired curve by clicking on it and enter any number of value pairs in the left column, or you can copy value pairs from an existing Excel spreadsheet, for example. With a right-click in the value area of a curve, you can copy values and you can access the Shift Selection function. This function allows you to shift multiple values or the entire curve at once, without having to change all values individually. To shift the entire curve, select all values of the curve and enter an offset value in the Shift Selection field, for example, minus 24 dB. This entry decreases the entire curve or all previously selected values by minus 24 dB. In the properties of the Tolerance Scheme Editor, you can change the units for the axes depending on the type of analysis to which you want to apply the Tolerance Scheme. You can create the curves for a Tolerance Scheme not only by entering numeric values, but also by using the results of previously calculated analyses. For this purpose, we first calculate the FFT average analysis of two marks with the data viewer as the destination element. For this application case, we only need one channel of each respective mark. These two result curves are now to be used as the upper and lower tolerance limit curves for a new tolerance scheme. For this purpose, go to the Recent Results list in the Head Navigator. Here you will find all data created in your current Artemis Suite session. The most recently calculated results can be found at the top of the list. Drag and drop the two files into your Tolerance Scheme diagram one by one. The corresponding curves appear. After inserting measurement results, you can still modify the individual values of the curve in the left column and adjust the curve to your needs by entering values. To make sure that the curves are properly interpreted in your future analyses, assign names to the curves and specify their roles in order to select the respective role later in your analysis settings. For better visibility, you can color the area between the two curves. To do so, click on Fill Areas and select the two curves, then click on Create. The zone between them will be colored. You can use this function for other areas of your diagram as well. Now you can select the fill color and confirm the change. Save the created tolerance scheme in order to use it in your analyses and to check your measurements for violations of the tolerance limits. In the Properties of an Analysis, you will find the Tolerance settings. Check the option Add Tolerance Scheme and select the file you just created. If you want to display detailed information about a Tolerance Scheme violation in the Diagram Legend, for example, click the Tolerance Check option as well. Then select your tolerance curves in the Upper Limit and Lower Limit fields. After the calculation, a diagram is displayed, which contains the results of the analysis as well as the tolerance corridor you just defined. This gives you an initial graphical overview as to whether your measurement results stay within the tolerance limits or violate them. If you want numeric information on the individual measurements to be displayed, you can configure this in the legend settings in the Properties tool window. To do so, 
go to 2D Diagram Options and Legend. Under Tolerance Check, you can enable the display of detailed information as to whether the upper or lower tolerance limit is exceeded. Enable the option Upper Check Result to get information whether or not the tolerance was violated. If you want numeric information on the individual tolerance violations to be displayed, select the option Upper Check Maximum Violation, for example. Now the largest violation, along with its position, will be displayed for each curve. This allows you to determine quickly and precisely which measurements exceed the specified limits. Depending on the analysis, a tolerance scheme may also require a fixed frequency relationship. For example, if you want to use a tolerance band in a third octave or octave level analysis, select the option Tolerance Scheme Frequency Bands to create the tolerance band. By default, a frequency band with third octave steps will be displayed. However, in the Properties tool window, you can also change the step width to octave steps or critical bands, for example. Furthermore, you can extend the bandwidth of the curve using the additional entry fields. For example, if you extend the bandwidth using the arrows under the Range option, the added values will correspond to the settings in the Properties. In this case, the added values on the abscissa automatically correspond to third octave steps. That way, you can adapt your tolerance band not only to your measurements, but also to your analysis. With the use of tolerance schemes, you have learned a simple method to check your measurement results for compliance with tolerance limits. This allows you to perform benchmark tests and to ensure the quality of new measurements. <laughs>